All right. Let's get mic'd up for this little live stream. All right, y'all. Welcome to Colby Act Live. We are doing a mystery tackle box unboxing today. And uh, we got the Mystery Tackle Box Pro here for the month of June 2023. And uh, we're going to get into it here and, uh, and look and see what kind of baits and lures are going to be found in this month's Tackle Box. Now, if you want to get your hands on a Mystery Tackle Box just like this and you want to save a little bit of money, then what you can do is you can use my promo code Colby Yak, and I'll leave links in the description below and all the information that you'll need in order to save yourself a little bit of moolah and get yourself a little subscription and sign up for Mystery Tackle Box. Now, I've been doing this for about, God, it's been six, seven plus years, and I've been sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box for about two years, and I save so much money on tackle because I rarely go out and buy stuff anymore. Now, I will have to buy the occasional like weights and hooks and things like that, but I rarely go out and get soft plastics and things like that because I'm just a weekend warrior at best and having the mystery tackle box uh, definitely saves a lot of money and is really fun to get that uh, little fish miss package in the mail once a month and, uh, and, and it's pretty exciting. So without further ado, let's uh, dive into this box. Uh, we'll cut it open, we'll see what's inside and then we'll, uh, we'll unpack everything and kind of show it off to you. And also, if you guys want to go over to my Instagram page, or do they call that the Instagram page, or account, profile, whatever, uh, and if you want to see a closer look with some better pictures of the lures and baits that come in this box, I'll hit those up uh, probably tonight sometime, maybe tomorrow, so that way you can get kind of a, a closer look. All right. So uh, we got a couple people popping on the chat. So what's up, Mary Craft? Good to see you, girl. Good to see you. Uh, and we got Daniel Pierce. Yeah, live unboxing. That's what we're about to do, y'all. So let's get into it. I got my little iPad right here so that way I can kind of see uh, chats as they're coming in. So let's get into it. Oh. I almost cut my finger on that one. All right, let's put, put that away. That looks uh, pretty dangerous. Okay, you ready? Got a little, get a little sip of my Catch Co water. It's a thousand degrees in the garage right now. So, all right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna let you look inside of it first and you tell me, do you, uh, do you see anything here that you like? Is there some good stuff in here? Maybe uh, I hear some rattling, I hear some some moving around, all kinds of stuff. Hey, what's up, Josh? What's going on, dude? Uh, Daniel, before we get into it, uh, what is my favorite lure I have ever gotten in the Mystery Tackle Box? Um, I enjoy getting like the uh, some swim baits and crank baits and things like that, but probably my favorite that I've gotten here recently just kind of comes to mind. Let me show you real quick. Um, I believe this one came or something like it came, a Mike Buka, a uh, little jointed swim bait. I think that one came recently. A lot of the stuff that you guys see here on the wall, we'll just have a lot of stuff you see here on the wall actually came from my mystery tackle box. So, uh, but anyway, let's get into it and see what we got going on. Um, ooh, ooh, there's some good stuff in here. All right, but I'm gonna find the uh, what's inside the box card. That's something I really like about Mystery Tackle Box is they provide this card for you uh, that tells you what's inside of it, how much it would cost retail. Um, got a QR code on the back in case you wanna like uh, scan it and get to shopcrawls.com more efficiently. Uh, sometimes it'll have pros doing videos with the lures and giving you tips on how and where and, and what to throw them on it and all that kind of stuff. So. Let's start off with the most expensive item, coming in at 20 bucks, $19.99. So already getting this box, this lure, basically pays for this box itself right here. And that is the Guggen Squad Junior Contender. So this is a scaled down version of the Guggen Squad Contender. Um, I have one, hold on, let me look back up here. Just for reference, 
and they're the same color, how perfect. So just for reference, here's the Guggen Squad Contender and the Guggen Squad Contender Junior. This one right here came in uh, this month's Mystery Tackle Box. So that's just for reference for you guys to see. So that is a 1999 uh, lure. Let's get this guy out of the box and check it out. While I'm doing that, let's see what we got going on. Uh, what's up, Josh? Yep, got that Guggen. I love Guggen Squad products. Um, I know they get a bad rap just because people don't like their style or think their lures are cheap, but I think they make a pretty good product. Um, great packaging, great marketing, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but just a, just a nice little scaled down version of a little swim bait. It's got really good action. The tail is kind of a rubbery, uh, rubberized feel to it. And ooh, hook is super sharp. Um, so that's a good one right there. Right off the top, got the Guggen Squad Contender Junior. Let's see what else. Uh, so next up, we got the Team Arc Lipless Crankbait. I really like this Team Arc stuff. Um, they make all kinds of items. Do I have any just kind of laying around here? Um, yeah, right here. Ooh, a couple of them. So this is what I was thinking. So um, the, the Team Arc make this really cool Walk the Dog style uh, topwater lure. And they make some just amazing looking uh, square bills as reds as well. So their uh, their hard their hard bait game is definitely on point. Um, so let's see what Team Arc lure we have in here. Okay, cool. So this is a lipless crankbait. This is called the uh, just their lipless crankbait, the L LP58. Uh, I don't know what those numbers stand for. Uh, if they do, it could just be their design number. Um, yeah, I don't see any any real indication on if the numbers mean anything. So let's open it up and check it out real quick. Yeah, Daniel, I like the, uh, the Team Arc stuff as well. Uh, it's just got a cool, like, edgy look to them. Um, just like a lot of hard edges, like triangular and why is my hand shaking so much guess who can hear the rattles oh gosh a lot of rattles in that that a little lipless but um, you can see a lot of really cool features and designs on some of their stuff i would highly suggest checking out uh, more of their products they make some really cool innovative looking stuff it's definitely different all right um let's see what else we have we have the x zone lures stealth invaders Oh yeah, I absolutely love scaled down little paddle tail swim baits. And these look like they got um, some, some little dorsal fins that may mimic uh, some, some baby bass or something like that. And yes, you're seeing this right. They are uh, paddle tails pointed up. So that's how they're intended to go because on the back it kind of shows you exactly what is going on there. So let's, let's pop one of these out of the out of the casket or the coffin style uh, bait container. Maybe I won't make all of them fall. Oh, of course I do. All right, so you can see it's got kind of a little flat bottom, which is pretty cool. Check that out. And then that paddle tail just sits up. Something cool about the paddle tail I'm just looking at is not like a normally rounded paddle tail. It's got kind of edges and angles to it. Y'all, I really like this. And I like how like the bottom is flat as well it smells like rubber uh and so those are those are pretty cool so that's from x x zone they make a lot of neat stuff but throwing that guy on a drop shot ned rig uh using it um on a swim bait or a, a chatter bait or spinner bait or even a swim jig anything like that is like a minor or small scaled down little trailer i think that would work fantastic and put that in the uh, go-to box for sure all right next up Let's see what we have here. Uh, we got the Biospawn Plasma Tail. Cannot go wrong with some Biospawn stuff. The Plasma Tails, they're just a very unique style of kind of a trick worm. Um, they have that kind of like uh, the, the bulging body that comes down, bulging, that comes down to a, to a slender style tail and then the tail, kind of, the tail kind of perks up a little bit so that way when it's going through the water, Gets a ton of action. You can see the tails are tipped with a little chartreuse color on them. 
and all Biospawn products that are soft plastics that I know of uh, come with something that's called BioScent. Uh, and that's just ba basically their type of fish attractant. And let me tell you, that stuff reeks. And if you think it stinks, then you know the fish are gonna love it. Um, that's just kind of like, you know, my, uh, my thought process when it comes to all of those things. Now, Biospawn actually just came out with uh, three new lures. And I'm gonna have a video coming out probably tomorrow that's highlighting some of those new lures. Um, I would show them to you right now, but I just went and fished with them today. Uh, but they have a small scaled down version of the Exo Swim. They have a topwater popper called the Robo Pop, which looks really cool. Um, and then the third thing that they came out with uh, was, oh gosh, what was the third thing? I forgot it already, what it was. Um, it'll, it'll come to my mind here in just a second. But anyway, back to the mystery tackle box. I'm plugging future videos. Uh, so the next thing we have is a Thunderhawk. I've gotten these before. This is just a super solid um, swim jig. So this is the Thunderhawk mouse head jig. Um, they're just a, just a good solid uh, style jig. This is a kind of a brim color one, like a little shell cracker or a little bluegill. Uh, you see it's got that uh, orange on the underside of it, just like a normal brim or sunfish. And then you got the, uh, the blue and the brown up top, uh, which looks pretty cool. Um, so this is just a, just a really good, um, just a really good, good jig. And you know what would look really great with this jig? Ooh, paired up with one of these little X zone lures, that would look absolutely insane. All right, last but not least, awesome. Love these hooks, some stickies, some extra wide gap or EWG hooks. Uh, and I forgot that I wasn't really telling you the, uh, the, the details on the pricing. Uh, the Team Art lipless crankbait is $7.99. The X-Zone lures are $5.99. The Plasma Tails are $5.69. And the, the Thunderhawk Mousehead Jig, $3.99. And then just for a, for a pack of three, uh, they're $2.10. Uh, and these are, what are these, 3 out or 4 out? Let's see, these are three aughts. So you could actually use these three aughts. It might be a little too big. Yeah, that's a little too big for those, but 100% use a three aught on uh, this little uh, plasma tail right there. Whew, that looks dangerous, very dangerous. One of the things that I absolutely love about Mystery Tackle Box is when they build these box and they are like built, it's not just like random stuff going on. When they build these boxes, they build them uh, with the, the idea or the concept of combining some of the lures together. Uh, so whenever I do a mystery tackle box slam, which is where you go out and fish with all of the things and try to catch a fish on everything, um, you can combine a lot of these things together, like boom, combine those two together, that'll get you one fish. Combine these two together, that gets you two fish. And then obviously you can't put these on the same, uh, you can't put these on the same line. That might make for an interesting video. If you put everything in the mystery tackle box on like an umbrella rig and then catch one fish with everything. Let me write that down. Got it. Uh, but then you got, uh, so one, two, three, four total fish with this box. Um, and again, you just save so much money bundling all this stuff together in one box. And they're gonna send you things that you would normally buy anyway, and it gives you an opportunity to just try out some new stuff. Uh, quick question, can you see the sweat coming off of the old brow here, or does it just look like I'm glistening like Edward from Twilight? Uh, probably both of them. Uh, yeah, Daniel, this is a pretty solid box, uh, but that's not it. You get this thing called the Dibble, the Dibble Digest. It's just like a little booklet that has all kinds of stuff in it about uh, how to fish some of these products, highlighting certain things, coupon codes, articles on just how to become a better fisherman uh, and just teaching you how to, how to fish certain things. Like if you're into snook fishing, one of my bucket list fish, I would love to catch a snook. Uh, this is saltwater fish if you're not familiar with it. Um, how to use small crankbaits to catch for panfish, just all kinds of great, great things. 
And then, um, and then at the very end, they uh, kind of highlight some of the MTB keepers from the previous month. Still waiting to get on that list. I would love to one day. Um, and I actually save all of these. So Mystery Tackle Box, if you're watching, which sometimes you do because, you know, you sponsor me, um, just to let you know, I have this little box back here, and it is full of every single one that I've ever gotten of these Dibble Digest. And I probably have a stack that's about that big, um, not to, you know, flex on them or anything. But um, last but not least, a couple things. Uh, this is cool. I love when they include these how to throw it uh, cards. So it's just uh, talking about how to throw this X-Zone Stealth Invader Lure, um, teaching you, you know, how, what you can put it on, um, what type of presentations, drop shot, ball head, Ned rig, trailer, etc. And then probably my favorite of all, the old sticker. I am, I've yet to figure out what I'm gonna be putting all these stickers on. Every now and then I'm like, ah, we'll put this one on a tackle box, or I'll put this one on a refrigerator or a cup or something like that. But again, I, in that same box, I have an culmination of all of these lures. Uh, yeah, it has been super hot, uh, Josh. I, I went out today and I, um, whew, I fished for just like a few minutes because I was just trying to catch a fish for this upcoming video. And um, like I was only out there for like 10 minutes and I was just, looked like I jumped in. Uh, I was just drenched. But anyway, guys, that's the, uh, that's the mystery tackle box for the month of June, 2023. I might have said 2022 previously. I don't know because like I like to live in the past and I make mistakes. Uh, but um, what do you guys think? Uh, let me know down in the comments. Some of you are already kind of telling me some things um, that this was a pretty solid box. I 100% agree that it was a solid box. Like the amount of products that came in here would probably cost you, if I did the math roughly, oh, you do not want me doing that. That's why I teach the Earth Systems, right, Mary Craft? Mary knows. Um, let's see, 20 bucks, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. It's probably over 25, 26. Yeah, we're, we're getting into like the 30, 35 range. Correct me if I'm wrong, which I am wrong. Uh, but uh, it just more than pays for itself, and I absolutely love getting them, like I said before. But what do you guys think about maybe trying to give this one away in a future video? Uh, let me know if we get it, if we get some likes and some comments on giving it away, then maybe I'll try to go out and do a mystery tackle box slam. I hadn't done that in a hot minute, but I got all summer to figure it out. Uh, and, uh, and while you're here on the channel, I'm trying to do a little redesign on things. So I've, I've done a little redesign on the profile pic. My wife said it was a super cute one, so I chose it. Um, and then I'm kind of working on the banner right now. It looks a little silly, but we'll, we'll kind of figure it out. But let me know what you think about those types of things. And until next time, keep those lines tight. And now is the awkward moment where I have to get up and walk around and turn off the camera. So see you.